what does it look like for an individual to be baptized in the spirit, uh, in the Holy Spirit, walking and living and abiding in the spirit, knowing that I'm in this natural world? How do we do that? Just give us some examples for, for somebody who may have those type of questions. What does it look like? How do you get into God's presence? Okay, well, we've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. That we Try to be practical about this in Firestorm. Mm-hmm. You've got to get your mind harnessed. That's mm. the biggest problem, and especially because of TV, um, commercials, Facebook, mm-hmm. where our minds are constantly being changed to look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. And to focus is a very difficult thing. Mm-hmm. And honestly, even in the church, just be honest, everybody, you know, we're in worship service, and then you remember, oh, man, I forgot to pay my pg <laughs> and And keeping your mind on God. But if you can get your body, soul, and spirit to align with God, okay. that's unity. Mm-hmm. Personal unity is where it starts. Mm-hmm. Body, soul, and spirit. In Firestorm, we teach our people, get all three of you in alignment. We're mm-hmm. made in the image of God. We're a trinity being. Yes, yes. Body, soul, and spirit. Um, so our soul would be our mind, mm-hmm. will, and emotions. Mm-hmm. Get your mind on God. Then it, sometimes we have trouble. We want to love God, but I'm not really feeling love right now yes. because I'm kind of mad at my husband. Mm-hmm. He yelled at me right before I came to church mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. it is, okay? Yeah. You, you actually have authority over yourself, mm-hmm. to, and you can do this, and I've done this. The Lord has taught me this. I, I pray over my heart and I'll say, God, make my heart rise up in love for you. Mm. You actually have authority to do that. You can, I bind my mind to your mind, God. Yes. yes. I yes. bind my spirit to your spirit. Mm. I bind my body to your body. Yes. Another thing that we teach in Firestorm is when you honestly get physically involved in your worship, whether it be dancing or just raising your hand mm-hmm. or a little jump or just standing in your seat, mm-hmm. raise your hand. Mm-hmm. When you get physically involved, it really helps you mm. to, to become a spear in the hand of God, to actually all parts of you have focused and lined up with God. It helps your mind, yes. helps your spirit to line up with God. When, when you're focused, yes. this focus actually takes practice. Mm. It would be like okay. an army that goes to war. You know, when, when, when the, you know, in the olden days, picture the Roman army, they, they actually had to put on their armor. And I know we talk about that. What does it really look like? You know, it looks like you harnessing your mind and not letting your mind step outside Mm. of your thoughts of God. Right now I'm going to think of Jesus. And if you have to, why don't you picture him, picture his eyes Mm -hmm. and take a look at him and then start telling him whether you're feeling love or not. God, I want to love you. Make me love you more. Mm. He loves those prayers. That's good. He he desires this more than we do. And he's not condemning us when our emotions are up and down. He mm. knows we're human. Mm-hmm. He made us. Yes. And yeah. he loves us unconditionally at all times. Even if you've just sinned, he loves you. Yes. He yes. loves yes. you. Yeah. He just wants you to try. Just effort goes a long way. And if you'll just go halfway, yes. he'll meet you the rest. He'll meet you yeah. 60%. He'll mix, he'll meet you 80%. If you just give it some effort mm. and I'm telling you, he will multiply your efforts. So it comes down to what you're saying. I like what you said. You said, um, get your mind, train your mind yes. to stay yeah. on God. I think about the scripture and I, I have been quoting the scripture all week. This is my scripture of the week, which we know it. But um, Philippians 4, uh, uh, 4, we'll start the sixth verse, where it says, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known. So you said that. Let the Lord know. Mm-hmm. I want more of you. I just, I, I need your love right now. I need some help. Yeah. So it's okay to say these yeah, things yeah. and voice them yeah. and tell God what your request is. One, I love one of the versions. It said, tell God what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wants you to tell him. Yeah. Lord, he knows your need before you even, you even voice it. Yeah. But he wants you to say, Lord, I want more. Yeah. Lord, help me. Yeah. Lord, what did you say? Um, cause my heart to rise up in love. your love. Yeah. 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 So things like this, it's okay to verbalize what you desire to God. Because then the next part says, after you've done that, It says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds. So he's saying, if you pray, if you give me thanks, if you become physically active in something, like you said, lift up your hands. In the car, I I, I put my hand over my heart and my hand, I said, Father. Lord God, I just want some more. I mm-hmm. need more of you. Mm-hmm. I, and it was just that simple act. And I felt the love of God just be like, yeah. like, I got you. Yeah. You know, you don't have to. And he begins to minister to you at that point. She, I just love you. Yeah. Because she's like, I get you. I get you. I get you. <laughs> I wish we had video in here. But it's so true that we have to keep our minds on the things yeah. of God. But, but you, you know, uh, well, I want to say 
it's it's beautiful and it's wonderful when we're able to do that and, and we know God I love you but mm-hmm. I know I can love you more mm-hmm. and I want to love you more mm-hmm. but I also know that there's listeners out there that have been so hurt and so damaged mm-hmm. by life or mm-hmm. by other people and they're in a place where they they don't even feel that mm-hmm. they know they should love God mm-hmm. more but in their emotions it, they're in a dark place mm-hmm. and and I want to tell them you can still say that. You can still ask. You can say, God, I really don't feel anything right now. Mm-hmm. I feel nothing, but I want to. I want to feel something. Mm-hmm. So put the love in my heart. That's put the good. love for you in my heart, and he will. He will do it. If you say, I'm not, I know I'm not hungry, God, but I want to be hungry for you, he'll put the hunger in you. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter where you're at. That's good. Go ahead. You know, um, the word says, this is salvation to know him. Mm-hmm. And what is that word no? It, it's an intimate word. You know, Adam and Eve were created and they yeah. were naked. Yes. And, and I'm, I'm talking actually about as a human being, mm-hmm. emotionally, really being naked before God. He yes. knows everything that's yes. happened to you. He knows what you're thinking. None of these thoughts that you have mm-hmm. are hiding from him. He knows it all. <laughs> so it's okay to bear it all and be naked before God and let him heal you. That's it. Yeah. That's good.